Hey, good to see you here. So today we are going to solve a lead code problem, which is uh, isomorphic strings. So given two string S and D, we have to determine if it is isomorphic or not. So the question arises, what is isomorphic? So we can say that if two string S and D will be called isomorphic, if the character in S can be replaced to get D. That means let's say we have this S string as egg and T string as add. So what we are doing is we are replacing this E with A and this G with D. So after doing all this we get a true because we are able to map this right. And in the second example let's see we have F O O and then B A R. So what we can do is if we map F to B uh, it will map right but uh, when we map O with A it will again map but the problem arises there is again an O which we can't map to R because the same element cannot map to two other elements that's why here the answer is false so let's see how we can actually uh, approach this problem so here let's say we have this string S egg and T S add so what we are doing is we are mapping each element of E with A So let's say we have two string S and D. So what we are doing is we are replacing uh, like we are math. Okay, so let's say we have uh, two strings S and D. S is egg and D is add. So what we are doing is we are creating a map in which E map to A and G map to D. Again, there is a G. So uh, hence... Uh, the element g is already in the map that's why uh, and it's already mapped to d that's why our whole function return true and here also what we are doing is we are taking a set which contains all the element which we have already added in the map of the uh, t string so uh, let's say if we are mapping e with a then the set contain a here again and then again if we are mapping the g element with t then the t comes here so now the question arises how and what are the cases where we are going to have false as an uh, output so let's see let's say we have a string s that is egg and then a string t that is a d c so what we are doing is firstly e map to a right and then g map to d again then again there is a g so hence what we have to check is this g is already mapped to something and it can't map to c again or we can say if it already mapped to d then we cannot map it to c uh, right so what we are going to do is the function here should be return false because this is not the case because we cannot uh, replace all the element of S uh, with T. Okay, so this is the whole idea about uh, how we can approach this problem. Now let's see the coding part of it. So here, what we are checking is the first uh, uh, corner case is that if what if the size of the string didn't match, right? Uh, let's say we have the size of S as 3 year and the t also as 3 year that's why it's obvious that each and every character should um, correspond to some other character in both the strings but if the uh, size of the string didn't match then obviously it it should return a false answer now uh, this will check uh, the first condition now let's uh, move ahead so what we are doing is we are creating a map consisting of character and character and also a set which consists of character now we are uh, traversing throughout the throughout the string s so what we are doing is we are putting uh, the element each an element of s in the in the map and we are mapping it with the element of d so let's say what happen is if we find uh, like if there is an element already uh, present in the map then what we have to check is if the element 
if the mapping element match with the element we are having right now uh, so we can this uh, understand this like let's say there is eg so e is mapped to a then it's inside the map and then g mapped to d then it's inside the map now this case again there is a g occur that is again there is a g occur that is uh, this si doesn't like uh, already exist in the map so what we are checking is if uh, m of si so this key gives the value corresponding to this key and if we are getting the same value that is in the first case the value for key g is d so again if we we see there is a g and if we type m of let's say g then we will get d again and this d match to this d that's why it's uh, uh, it's correct in this case but if this doesn't happen then we should return false now the second case arises that is if um, whatever the uh, whatever the element we are putting in our set that is if the count of the set uh, goes up then we should have to return false and otherwise we have to append or uh, whatever the element of t we have in the set and then at the end we are just mapping uh, e with a and whatever the element of s with the element of t so this is basically the condition arises when we got a duplicate that is let's say uh, there is a b c as s so let's say this e g g and then here again a uh, e. let's say we have a e. so what it does is g is uh, g is mapped with t and it didn't correspond to the element so this come here in this condition right but for this we can uh, we can just uh, simply say it like uh, if there is an element already in the uh, in the set and if again comes uh, that means uh, that means it, it shouldn't be the case because two element two element of s map with a same element of t so that is also uh, a case where it should return false and if all the cases are covered then at the end we have to simply return true because this uh, if none of the above cases will return false then obviously both the string can be isomorphic so this is the solution for the problem isomorphic string and you can find the code in the description which is a github link so you can directly assess the code from there okay so this is it for this video thank you